This is Thistle Do. She's a 60 foot semi traditional narrowboat built in 2006 by Alcan Engineering and fitted out by Stone Marine. We sold her in October 2020, and there's a full survey available for viewing from that particular sale. She was last blacked in August 2020. She was done prior to that, actually, September 2019. And the engine was last serviced in 2019, but it's only done about 40 hours since that, actually. It's been lived on the last couple of years by its current owner, so tried and tested from that point of view. 250 watts of solar power on the roof. The paintwork is a bit tired, to be honest. It needs a bit of attention, but you get quite a lot of boat for your money, I think. There's the Commodore. You'll come and have a look at the boat in a minute. The well deck itself, three foot six inches long. Gas bottles, two of those are in that forward locker. There's a cratch cover over the well deck here. And then we go, she's fitted out an oak face ply with Sapili trim. The saloon is huge, 16 feet, three inches long. There's a lot of space in here. You could put a sofa bed quite easily and still have room for those armchairs, to be honest. A little cupboard in the corner here. There's a stereo there, JVC CD radio thing. Getting the inspection test there by Bumble. There's the view of the world up from inside, and there's a nice little cupboard up here. The television below, that's a 23 inch cello, sits on top of a, another cupboard there. <laughs> like the way Bumble keeps looking in. That's a secondary water tank, actually. The original owners uh, from the previous sale thought the water tank, they needed more capacity, so that's under that bench seat thing there. It's a more so squirrel solid fuel stove. There are 450 litres in total now of water. There's a view down the galley, uh, the saloon. And into the galley, there's another good sized room, 11 feet 6 inches long. Behind here is just storage. The washing machine's next to that, it's an Indesit. Acres of workspace in here. The fridge itself, that was new in 2019, that's a 12 volt LEC fridge. There's an ice box in there as well. These are quite useful. Cupboards down the rest of the galley over there. The cooker. It's a New World four burner gas hob oven and grill. All nice and clean. And on the other side, we just come back for a look. There's a fly screen for this side hatch. Sink with loads of storage underneath. Honestly, there's there's a huge amount of storage in this kitchen. The boat itself is pretty well geared up for storage, actually. Cupboards under there. So between the galley and the saloon, you've got 27 feet of living space. That's the view down. Head height on the boat, six foot five. All the lights are LED. Down this corridor to the bathroom. The loo is a Thetford cassette, there is a spare cassette on board. That basin is ceramic. Good storage cupboard underneath. And the shower sits over this bath, hip bath I suppose I should call it. And the bedroom, that's in the rear cabin. The bed itself is 6 feet 6 inches long, 4 feet wide. Storage underneath little shelf over the head end of the bed little shelf in the corner actually as well there for a cup of tea or something or gin and tonic cupboards under here nice little dressing area back of the bedroom here bank of four drawers cupboard up there and then here's a bit of a wardrobe Hot water tanks in there. Hot water, by the way, is heated by the engine, or there is also a one kilowatt immersion heater on board. There's the electrics, fuse boards and things. And out onto the semi-trad deck. The bedroom itself was 11 foot 3 inches long, so all the rooms are generously proportioned. And there's a view from the helm. Storage, lockers, stroke, bench seats either side of this deck, and there's a useful little seat for the pilot. The engine's in here, it's a Beta 43, that was new in 2011, it's a hospital silencer. With that, 
She handles quite nice actually. The boat's got an Axiom propeller on it. That was new in 2012. The gearbox was replaced. It's a PRM 150 in 2011. Battery bank. Three Ledger batteries. They were new in 2019. One starter. There is a Sterling 1600 watt inverter on board for main supply. And there is a little pram hood that goes over the back deck. I didn't actually mention that. It's a low level pram hood, but it's there all the same. And there we go. That's Thistle Do. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.